So at any point of time you realize you are not in school for some reason, please automatically make it a point to check on your own. As much as possible, I try to record every day's lesson. So, and I say, oh, I'm always okay if you need more time to get your things ready. So slowly, progressively, I have you handing in your work problems. Okay. And if you still have the work problems with you, almost all of the work problems, I've gone through them already. If you were to click, let's say, one of the videos on the channel, if you cannot find, just go and search on YouTube, my name, you'll find the videos. For example, if I were to click on a video that says uh, word problem, okay, this one, now is I try my best to do it so that it's easy for you to see, but, it's, but my effort will not be useful at all if you don't use it. So that, so you don't, if you don't refer to it, then all my effort is. Amia will be useful. times how many? Two, two units. Okay, so, so 54 times for two. For those of us who still haven't there will be uh, submitted your work problem because stickers. you're struggling at it, or you need <coughs> or you need revision, you just you see the bottom here also. I try my best to put little text there so you can just okay. click and and anybody else has a different drawing. And, and the page number is also written at the at the bottom. Okay. So it's easy. Can I move on? Level. Okay. So Rakshan, Rakshan, you missed out the topic on symmetry, which we covered, and in, at our school for for B book, and while we were doing symmetry, your school did fractions, right? So I can't repeat symmetry for you because our class already did it. What you can do is to really go back and look at the video. Sorry? Oh, you were already learning symmetry. Okay, that's very good. But have you started on the verbal pages for symmetry? No, could you refer to it then? Okay, so you can click on this, the ones that say symmetry. Okay, all right, watch. Watch through it. Okay, Ken? Now, today I'm going to go on to the conversion from our workbook. Those of us yesterday, like I did, you, was not, you were not here yesterday because you went back early. You can go and take a look at that video. I just posted it for yesterday's lesson. So all the examples that we did in our notebook is captured here. Sometimes you can tell me, oh, okay, Miss Lim, I actually sit towards the back in the class. It, sometimes the screen is too tiny for me. I need to revise it, or I cannot remember something you share in class. Then click on the video and then watch it again. And the best part is always about being able to skip, pause, repeat. Is that okay? Can I understand? No, not very responsive today, the internet. But yesterday, when, I, when, when I'm finally done with the whole day's events after CCA and everything else, it was about six o'clock already when I'm in school. So I was trying very hard to upload this at six o'clock in school. I didn't manage to put in the chapters yet. But if you, the video is ready, so if you skip through the video, you can see the portion. Now, when I have to okay. speak up? I didn't. Otherwise, it's not engaged. You missed out yesterday. So we did. Practice, practice too. As well. So please go back and take a look. One. 
any True. any point of time you realize you were Three. absent from school, you missed out something, go back and check it. Okay, I can't help you with the other subjects, but at least for maths that I'm here, I will try you to help you to catch up on it. Is that okay? Now. So we will look at the conversion quickly in revision from what we did yesterday for our notes. If you were really finding this a challenge, you really need to pay good attention to this. And if you're one of those, one of us would be okay, I find that this is like, I got the hang of it. I know how to convert. I can do it fast without making mistakes. I know I can understand the shortcuts and I can also understand the long method. That's good for you. Okay. So, uh, Rasha, I've checked the word. I think you're pretty much okay with this portion of conversion of fractions. So, I'm going to just do a quick recap one or two pages. I prepared something else for you. You can try it while, I'm, while we are going through the fractions conversions afterwards, okay? Because you already completed it. Now, so a quick revision, two identities here. One is improper fraction, one is mixed number. We talk about the two identities for this topic. Mixed number is a whole number plus fraction. How to remember? Remember with the word mix. So like yesterday, we talked about mix. Uh, like roja, a mix of pineapple and, and vegetables, apples, crispy stuff in roja. Have you had roja before? No, I haven't eaten roja before. Okay, so it's, a, it's like a salad. You know a salad? You know what's a salad? You mix up lots of vegetables. It's quite... And then you eat it. So a mixed number is like a roja of uh, a salad of whole numbers and fraction. Okay, and this fraction here, if yesterday when you're doing the tech toys during recess, these fractions you'll notice that all the numerators are smaller than the denominators. These are all proper fractions, like they are standing properly. Whereas for improper fractions, the second identity that we learn about for this topic, the numerator is either bigger or equals to the denominator. That gives you the understanding that, that these are bigger than wholes, equal or bigger than wholes. Okay, so yesterday's key activity was to deal with conversion. Converting from mixed number to improper fraction, mixed number to improper fraction, and also from improper fraction to mixed number. So the other way around. Okay, and the, the important keywords include simplest form. Okay, and we talk about the long method. The long method is going from drawing pictures to understanding what one, what the holes are, converting each hole to its relevant fraction, add up the fractions, the light fractions, you get the improper fraction here. To getting, be able to do the shortcut method, there's understanding the holes and the number of parts that mix up that hole, adding up the parts through multiplication, 
and addition to quickly get to the improper fractions. So the shortcut is this. And then for improper fraction to mix number, the long method is going through how many holes I can make up from the uh, numerator, writing it out diligently, then making the holes from it. So like 38 fifths equal one hole by one hole by one hole by one hole by one hole until you you cannot form any more holes. That will be the remaining parts. Then the short, we talk about the shortcut. The shortcut, we already had like five, 10 minutes yesterday to talk about it. The idea of division. So the shortcut for mixed number to improper was multiplication. The shortcut for improper to mixed number was actually division. And the explanation was from this was understanding that, hey, when I divide the numerator, this represents, the numerator represents the total number of parts. The divisor, that is the denominator, is what is each part? A whole made out of one, how many parts made out of one whole? The quotient tells you how many whole. The remainder tells you the fraction that's left. Once you do it, you get seven and three fifths really quickly. So the long division is like a shortcut to repeating subtract, repeated subtraction. This is what you're doing, actually. A hole followed by a hole, followed by a hole, followed by a hole, followed by a hole. You try to form holes until you get remainder. So that is the short part is actually long division. Is that okay? So I thought talk about it really fast. Let's look at your homework now. See how you have been okay doing it. Now, just now Ayla came over and said, hey, actually she's really struggled a little bit at it. This is on page 99. Okay. So at 99, we are dealing with converting. Converting from one type to the other. In this case, it's from mixed number to improper fraction. So this one is mixed number. So mixed number to improper. So this one should be improper fraction. So I'm expecting that the numerator is going to be bigger than the denominator. For what we learned yesterday, we have one hole plus one hole plus one hole and then the additional one third. That's what it means by the mixed number. Three holes, one hole, one hole, one hole, one hole, and one third. I convert the one holes to three thirds, three thirds, three thirds, three thirds. Oops, sorry, made a mistake. Thank you. Yes, Singan, one third. Add them up three, six, nine, and 10 thirds. Is that okay? Any problems with this? Okay, so. The next one shares from mixed number to so this one should be improper fraction. The key question here, what is the whole? And how do I know what's one unit? The whole tells us the denominator. The unit tells me, the whole tells me how many parts make up one whole. It points us to pay attention to the denominator. And the unit fraction tells us what's the, what's the fraction of one part. Is that okay? So that's the, the key points to remember. So I've got four and two fifths. So it tells me to pay attention to the whole and it tells me what one whole is. I need to pay attention to the one whole. So one whole is equals to the denominator is five. Numerator will be five. The extra here is two fifths. 
5, 10, 15, 20, 22 fish. Is that okay? So I should have five fish, five fish, five fish. You hear me counting like the shortcut. So that's the multiplication that's coming in. 5, 10, 15, 20, 22 fifths. Is that all right? Okay, moving on. Now, so after you deal with uh, the long methods, here comes the shortcut. Mixed number. This is supposed to be improper. Now the shortcut comes here already. I know there's three holes. One hole is nine nice. So three holes will be three times nine will be 27 nice. So I'm looking at 27 nice. 27 plus four, 31 nice. Thank you, Fidret. She's okay? So actually what it meant was I add up the possible numerators like this one. I've got four holes and one seven, four and one seven. So I have four holes, which means I have four of the seven sevens plus and the fraction part. So this one was the whole number part. Add up the numerators, seven, 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 seven. So seven times four, 28. 28 plus the one, Extra 29 sevens. Is that okay? Is that okay, everybody? Okay, huh? So add up the numerator. I don't add up the denominator. Why do I not add up the denominator? Yes, Evan. Because the denominator always stay the same. Because the denominator tells us the unit fraction, think like the model. Remember, we talk about we us about how many units, how many units. So these are the units we are looking at the size of the unit. Okay, it doesn't change. It's the numerator that changes. The numerator tells us how many pieces. Okay, so there are twenty nine of the sevens. Sevens is the one you need. There are 29 of the sevens. Okay, so moving on to here, I'm looking at you doing this with a quick step, right? If you are still needing to say draw, go ahead and draw. If you still need to do the law method, go ahead and do the law method. If you do a mix of it, it's fine. So if I'm still doing like one plus one plus three sevens, and then equals to seven and seven sevens plus seven seven plus three sevens, and then I got 14, seven plus three, 17, seven. That's okay. If I'm doing a shortcut, I just went to 14, seven plus three, seven. That's fine as well. So if you did a glue long method, go ahead. Okay. Otherwise it will be, it would be great if you are starting to do it really fast. Because one hole, can I understand? So since one hole is eight, eight, so six holes will be six times eight. 48. Can understand? Any problems? Okay, this piece of homework for yesterday was how many of us find it easy? Okay. All right, Ken. Okay, that's a good, that's a good sign. Oh, uh, Rashad, here you go. Can do this while we are doing these pages. 
Don't know other pages of the workbook, please. Okay. Is it all right? Okay, so moving on. So now, we, it's the other way around. The other way around is from improper, become mixed. So express each of the following as a next number. So this one should be mixed number. I'm expecting, I'm expecting a whole part and a fraction part. One, two, three, four, five. Same thing, I'm looking at the unit. I check how many holes I can form. So the same thinking point happens. I'm focusing on the hole and the unit. So the units are halves now. I get two to form a hole, two of the halves to form a hole. In this case, I have five of them. One, two, three, four, five. That's the improper fraction. If I use the fraction this, like how I use the pictures now, I've got two holes and a half. Is that okay? So that was part of the homework yesterday. We're moving on. So 101 is the homework. Let's go on to 102. That was the last bit of homework yesterday. Now, these are how the questions will be formed will be like in a test, they ask you the, in these English terms, convert. Convert is like changing, I change from one to another, okay? So convert from improper fractions to mixed number. So in other words, I'm expecting the, here, the question to be improper. So I'm expecting the answer here. This answer here should be a mixed number. Is that okay? So a mixed number means there's a whole number part and there's a fraction part. For this example, same thinking points again. What I say is the one whole and what I say is the unit. So in this case, one whole is in thirds. Three thirds make the one whole. The unit fraction is one third. So one slice or one piece is one third. That's all the, the logic is as how we practiced yesterday. I'm able to make two holes of these thirds that was given, seven of the thirds, and then one remaining, one third. So I get two holes and one third. Okay, so I'm on page 102 now. Is that okay? So the next one here, same thinking point. So you look, you know this, uh, when I practice my race, I don't practice just with work problems solely. I also practice with any other question. So before I move on to the next question, I circle this as well. I must check if the answer is in simplest form. If it's not in simple form, I need to simplify it further. Okay, 
This one here. Question says improper fraction convert to mixed number it has to be simplest form. Ask myself again, what is the whole? The whole is eight, eight. Because the denominator tells me so, it tells me that it is the eight we are looking at. What is one unit? The unit fraction for this is one eight. Is it okay? So I go with it is, it is, it is, and then eight, 16, 24, and I have remaining, remaining three eights. So one hole, one hole, one hole, and then three eights. Now be careful, sometimes you may be confused. Sometimes, uh, like just now when Ayla first showed me her working, she got confused. At first, she did this correctly. And then the next, oops. And then the next step, instead of converting, continuing with her working, she actually continued with. She continued with this. And then she got stuck. She doesn't know what to do after that. So I pointed her. Let's focus on it. the answer that you wanted. It was mixed number. What is a mixed number? Again, a mixed number is made out of holes and fraction parts. So you need to understand your sequence of steps. So this is three and three eighths. Is this okay? Is this in simplest form? Can I simplify it further? No. So is it already in simplest form? Yes. Okay, next. Now, this question here, and already a clue is given. What? What do you think is the clue here? Again, the same thing, question says, I'm supposed to convert from improper fraction to mixed number, so my answer should be mixed number. But why do you think this question has two Answer blanks. Very good. So it gives you a hint for simplest form. Meaning this mixed number you get will probably there's an equilibrium fraction that you need to simplify. But in the test time, of course, they, they won't give you this bracket. You need to be able to be sensitive to it, knowing that you need to simplify already without asking. Hey, is there how many blanks do I need to? So look at the question to give you the clues. Same thinking point, what is one hole? Very good, six, six. What is one unit? One, six. How many holes can I get out of this 26? One, two, three, four. Because six, six, 12, six, 18, six, 24, six. 24, six, and then two more extra six. If I use division, Total number of six. Number of parts in one hole.
remainder shows fraction quotient tells me the holes so i'll get 4 and 2 6 whole numerator denominator is it okay simplify further what would it be Four and one third. Is this okay? Kevin, you look a little sleepy. Are you all right? Are you able to follow this? Is it difficult for you? Are you able to do this? Okay. So next one, color to show each improper fraction, then express each improper fraction as a mixed number in simplest form. So you see, uh, this question is still two marks, you know. For two marks, you need to be able to color correctly, convert correctly into simplest form. Okay, if you color dot correctly, but you convert correctly, you get one point. You convert correctly, forget to put simplest form, one point. You do everything correctly, two points. Okay, understand? Okay, so I've got 12 of it. And then two extra fifths. Is this okay? With drawings, it's, it's really quite easy because you just count and you color. One whole equals to five fifths. One unit is one fifth. Five, 10, and two extra. Is this okay? Is this challenging? Manageable? Okay? Okay, yeah? Okay, then we move on. You try the last few on your own. Try this on your own. Page 103. So we should have completed 99, 100, 101. 102, 103, now 104. Okay, 104, I would like all of you to try question E and I right now. Show me the method you prefer to do, converting each improper fraction to a mixed number in its simplest form. Try A and B. Now, show me your method. Five times seven is thirty-five, but five times seven is not thirty-five. Oh, five. Okay. So this book is five. Because five times seven is not thirty-five. Oh, five. Okay, so it's alright. You either write five times seven is thirty-five. Okay. Or write five times. Yes. 
Phi times two. Anybody completed already? Can I take a look? Anybody else has completed? Can I take a look? Huh? Where's your working? You need to have, you need to have an equal sign, you need to have working. Okay? You see, huh? you look at how right one. Even if you say, say his final answer is wrong, because he has some working here, this working is all that wrong. If let's say you made a mistake here, and then there's no working, and it's straight zero. Can you show me how you got to this? That at least one working at the side, be it drawing a writing on the equation, and your equal sign is missing. Anybody else completed? Can I take a look? JJ, have you finished? Have you finished? Can I take a look? If you have done with E and I, go on and try out the next two. I'll try your simplest form now. That's not bad on simplest form. Come here. Okay, carry on. Good job. <laughs> Okay, keep going. Great. All right. Let me complete the whole thing. Okay. Any other friends have completed? Okay. If I'm coming around to really how we do this behind our phone.
Okay, right. Uh, now my target, I'm going to come sit down. All right. Uh, can I have attention, please, everybody? Now, let me show you a few examples, please. Can I have your attention now? Okay. Starting with the detailed steps like here. Look. Improper to proper. Not sure how to do. Look back to the steps of how we did it. The learning methods was fraction this, the picture, the steps, the long steps, and slowly convert to the mixed number. Please pay attention. If you follow the method here, Step by step, you better get it right. What are the thinking points? What's one whole and what's a unit? Here, Zahir's example, 16 thirds. Ayla? 16 thirds. I asked myself, 16 thirds, what is one whole? You tell me what is one whole. Sorry? How many thirds? Sorry? Three thirds. One whole is three thirds. What is one unit? One third. Good. Now, I have 16 of these thirds. Thirds are slices of the pizza. I see how many holes I can make. One, two, Three, four, five. What Zahir did was to do three thirds plus three thirds plus three thirds plus three thirds plus three thirds. That's 15 thirds. 15 thirds and the remaining one third. 
five and one third. Because each of these three thirds give you one whole. This is correct. Now, if I use the, another example of how Singan did it. The final answer five and one third is correct. But the working here is wrong. Because what did we say about one whole? Is three thirds. It's not three plus three plus three plus three plus three, yeah? This is three plus three plus three plus three plus three gives you one, two, three, four, five, 15 and one third. Is it the correct? It is not correct. You need to be careful with how you write the equation. This is not correct. Can you understand what I'm talking about? Same as my ask razor just now. Okay, this one. 3 times 5, 15. 16 minus 50 is 1. Okay, in these equations, he is showing his mental calculation how he gets 5 remainder 1. In this equation, none of it is, you see, fraction or not. But he's writing down what he thinks are his steps. Final answer is 5 and 1 third. This is correct. These are equations for his thinking steps. Nothing to do with the fraction. This is correct. But let's look at the next one. The next one here, 19 and 19 quarters, 19 fourths. They are four folds because four times four equals to 16. There is 19 minus six remainder of three. But what did he do? He wrote equal sign here and equal sign here. This is wrong. Is 19 minus 16 equals to four and three quarters? No. This is not equal, this is wrong. So the answer mark will be zero. Do you understand what I'm talking about? You need to know what you're writing. Same as this, two and three six divided by three is not two and a half. This is wrong. In a matter of simplifying this fraction, I'm only dividing the numerator and the denominator by three. This equation is not correct. Understand? Erase it. Correct your mistakes, please. This is also wrong. We need to be careful in how we write. Now, one last example, we are getting here. This is how runs one. How runs steps are also close to Zakir's one. So what you see is these are long steps. Step one, two, and three. Zakir skipped the second step. He went from this step straight to this step. How run? Skip the first step. He just went to the second step. This is how he get. Does the working make sense? Yes. Improper, mixed number, fraction, uh, whole number, fraction, whole num mixed number. Improper, the holes, the leftover fraction, Mixed number. The last example is the change one. This is correct, totally correct as well. No equations to confuse you. 
just his working steps and final answer. 16 holes divided by three in one hole, get five holes and remainder one, fraction five and one third. Correct? Correct. But if he was to do, also this is correct. All right, and then uh, this one as well. But this is, uh, this is wrong. So Jaijin, correct this, okay? But this is quite advanced. Or oh, this is also not correct. But these are the working steps. Oh, so you see, huh? no one? Huh? Working step here. This, wrong. Working, correct. Method mark given, answer wrong. Why this method he got wrong? Because he made a mistake. Forgot that this is the remainder. So it should be four and three quarters because remainder is the numerator. Can you understand? Change it. You know why it is a mistake, right? So this is advanced. This is beginner. I would still say this is like hovering around in intermediate. It's just that you have to present, present your steps accurately. Okay, great, sir. Now, homework, try the whole page. Come, Richard, you can take your spec. Uh, Sing, come. JJ also, correct your mistakes. Okay, now if you've already completed, you can go home and check out your textbook. There are more examples you can work on. Okay. <laughs> Thank you.